What is up you guys? My name is Tyra and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just doing an everyday makeup routine. I thought it would be fun just to show you guys kind of what I do. Um, I'm very simplistic when it comes to my makeup unless I know I'm going to a shoot or doing something a little bit more uh, extravagant like a dinner or something like that. So I thought it'd be fun to share what I do. I don't wear makeup every day. Most days I look like this. I also wanna preface that I am not a beauty guru or anything like that. I have the dirty beauty blenders and whatnot. So, um, I don't know, let's just jump right into the video. Okay, so first I'm gonna start off with Tula Skincare. This is their Brighten Up Smoothing Primer. Um, I actually really love this. It has the consistency of more of like a balm. So it's really nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on here. And I have a mirror like right in front of me. So I'm gonna be looking down to kind of apply um, my makeup today. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and next time I'm gonna go in with my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation. I am in the shade Sienna, however, I can wear a couple of different um, of their shades, which is kind of strange, but this one's a bit dark for me, but I don't feel like spending money on anything new, but shout out to you NYX because I have been using this for a while and I by far uh, love this the most. So now I'm gonna go in with the LA Girls Cosmetics uh, Concealer. I use the shade Toffee. Um, I do this before my eyebrows usually. Um, some days if I feel a little extra fancy, I'll do my eyebrows first, but since this is like an everyday, like quicker makeup look, I don't feel like having to like make sure I don't hit my eyebrows. So let's get it, let's get it. At this point, I know my makeup looks a little bit darker than my neck, but I promise you it's probably the lighting, but it always matches somehow. Um, so now I'm gonna go in with a different beauty blender. Uh, this was just like an e.l.f. one that I have. Again, it's dirty, um, as in I used it the last couple of time, days. Super quick, you guys, if I notice that the makeup is drying super quick for some reason or my beauty blender is a little bit drier than I would like, I will go in with the Mario Badescu um, Facial Spray, the Aloe and Rose Water one, um, just to kind of wet my face and add a little bit more moisture to my, my canvas. Now that I'm done with the highlighting portion of my face routine, I then, before my uh, eyebrows, I go in with the Huda Beauty um, Blondie setting powder or baking powder, powder, however you'd like. I go in with the Morphe E49 brush as well, uh, just to kind of apply this in the areas that I want it, which is gonna be in the same areas I put the highlight. I'm gonna go in, I've been using actually for about a year or so, the Maybelline Studio, um, the Tattoo Studio uh, Brow Pomade. Uh, I actually really am a fan of this and I use this in the shade, I believe this is just brown, uh, that I, or deep brown actually, is what I use on my eyebrows. So I brush up my eyebrows and then I draw a line kind of like under first and then I'll go over and then I'll connect it and fill in. finished look of my brows. I'm just gonna kind of like brush them up a little bit. I do have my Slay All Day makeup, uh, Gerard Cosmetics makeup mirror. So that's kind of what I've been looking at because this little mirror down here was not working for me. So 
you just kind of like brush them up. I personally don't, um, I do not um, like arch my eyebrows or anything. I don't really have a lot of hair, so I'm in the process of like <laughs> growing out my brows. So like you can kind of tell they're a little bit like messy like underneath and the hair that's growing. But you know what, you guys? This is an everyday makeup look for beginners. And some beginners don't arch their eyebrows, so that means. So next what I'm gonna do really quick as far as contouring goes, uh, just super light here um, and this look is pretty much done. I'm gonna go in with the Hoola Toasted Bronzer um, and this is kind of what that looks like on there. Um, and I use, I also go in with another Morphe brush. This one is their E4 brush. So I dab in here a little bit, I tap and then I'm just gonna go in and just tap around the areas that I normally contour, which I try to follow the three rule. So it's like, do 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 So how do we look? Simple, again, you remember how dark my foundation was earlier and I told you, I promised you, I was gonna bring some, some like, warmth and some light back to my look. So what I'm gonna do now is go back in with the Mario Badescu uh, Rose Water and spray at a distance all over my face. So I do one spray and then let that sit. And then while I'm letting that sit, I'm gonna go in with my mascara and I use the Telescopic ma Mascara by L'Oreal. I'm gonna go in with this really quick and I'll show you the last step. All right, you guys, that's it for the lashes. I have pretty short lashes. There's not much to it. Um, I love my lashes. There's random ones that are way longer than the others. I really don't get it, but um, I do like the effect that the telescopic mascara gives my eyes. What I do is go in with a towel and I just wipe off um, my lips uh, just to get off the foundation, any powder, because today I'm just doing gloss. Going in with a highly used Morphe lip gloss. Um, this is in, I don't know how to pronounce it actually. I'll put the name and how it's spelled on the screen, but Rosé? I have no idea. I'm really horrible when it comes to pronunciation, so I already know that that's wrong. Um, but I'm just gonna go in with that and finish the look. This is the finished look, you guys. Now we're ready. Let me just do a little bit. I'm super adamant about this area. Okay. Yeah, this is a finished look. Ah, thank you guys so, so much for watching and tuning in. Please like this video and subscribe for more videos. I love everything from makeup, fashion, to fitness, and just kind of talking um, in general. Um, so thank you guys so much, and I'll catch you on my next video.